Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Dung and Rope, the Two Goodbye Despair. I wanted to get this next video out ASAP because everything is still fresh in my mind. We just got done doing the investigation. I think I know who it might be. That's why I want to get into this right away so I can remember all the details and we can just nail this case. 50,000 likes and I will release the next video ASAP. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. Okay, so if you saw the last episode, obviously I have a ton of sus on Mekon. Because I feel like she's the only one who could have conveniently done it and tried to get away with it. Everybody else was somewhere else. I think they're trying to put sus on Kazuichi and Sonya because they don't have alibis that are accounted for. And the reason why I think Mikan is super sus is because um, Hajime woke up in his room and she was like hugging him and pretending like she didn't know where she was. I think that she was trying to get him to be her alibi. But we're going to figure this all out. Everyone who heard the announcement had gathered in front of Monokuma Rock. And soon enough. Welcome. Is everybody here? Do you guys want to go to the class trial? Wait. Hey, jerk. Hold it right there. Ronnie, what? Don't get in my child. way. You're just a dumb little sister who's short a few brain cells. Hey. My brain works just fine. Wait, did I just hey, give her hey. the Monokuma voice? Monokuma, what did you do with Nekomaru? Hmm. I see. So you've come to avenge him. That's... Avenge? That sounds like he died. <laughs> sounds like, you say. Oops. Anyway, anyway since Nekomaru is unfortunately unavailable today, let's just say he's absent. Uh, bye -bye. Now then, I gotta go first. Oh, uh, hold on. I won't let you escape. <laughs> I really don't like the relationship between them two. Hey, did you hear what he said? Huh? Don't worry about it. There's no way Nekomaru is dead. He's just trying to piss us off. Of course he's not dead. There's no way, not in a million years. Well, more importantly, it's best if we worry about ourselves for now. <laughs> if something happens here, every one of us except Nekumaru will die. <laughs> well, why are you so excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. What, do what you are you saying, fiend? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. See? Then let's go. All right, let's hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Let's jump into it. Every time Nagito is on the screen, I can't help but smile, you know? I can't help but break a little smile. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting a little too excited. I had two cups of coffee just now. I am wired. I am on one. We stepped onto the escalator and ascended toward the gaping maw of Monokuma Rock. And that's when I suddenly noticed it. I noticed our lined up silhouettes keep getting smaller and smaller, but I can't turn back now. If I turn back, I won't be able to press forward. Duh. What the hell kind of quote is that? If I turn back, I won't be able to press forward? You can't go forward if you're turning back! And when everyone was inside Monokuma Rock, like, if you're always walking backwards, you're never moving forward. If you turn around, even if you're stepping backwards, you're not moving forward, are you? I mean, I'm just big braining it right now. Like, I need to calm down. The elevator began its deep descent as usual. Yeah, you know, the huge. But nobody said a word. As we stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other, the elevator descended deeper and deeper. If it got quiet, I'd be that awkward guy that's just like, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so, hmm, what an elevator ride, huh? And when it descended as far as it could go, it finally stopped. Do we need to have like this inner monologue every time we take the elevator? The elevator doors opened slowly, almost tantalizingly so. Light poured through the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness. And I walked into that place. My, my. It feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Well, two people got killed at the same time, and Nekumaru's not here either. Is Nekumaru really not participating? If he's alive, you should invite him. No, no. Why bother? That's... What? Well, now. now then, let's begin. Yeah. It's the beginning of the long-awaited class trial. Please enjoy it to your heart's content. I don't mind starting the trial, but I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Listen up! The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? Anyway, yeah, we shouldn't proceed thing. with the I'll trial if those two can't participate in the what? arguments. Since he's the first witness, 
Why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Let's get to it, then. Let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five in the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... Also, before we continue, the reason why I think it's Mikan is because the temperature inside of Titty Typhoon was so hot that Mikan wasn't able to determine the time of death, which is crucial because we think that Ibuki died first and Hyoko died second, right? But what I found out is that once we went into the on-call room on the second floor of the hospital, the scene looked like the same scene as Ibuki with the bag over her head. That's why I think maybe Mikan staged it and she was the one who went up on the ladder and pretended to fall and get hurt. Because when we saw the ladder inside of Titty Typhoon, there was blood on it. And then um, in the video, there was no blood on it. And I think the whole timing being thrown off and us not being able to figure out when the killings happened, I think Mikan knew how to just like mess up that evidence. So I think that was her. I think she was the one who pretended to be Buki in the video call room thing. And I also think that she was the one who messed up the temperatures on the body. That's why I want to get into this episode right away because I want to make sure I still remember that. Yeah, I think this is me con right here, and this hospital scene gown is inside and the on-call room head. and not in Titty Typhoon. A step ladder. Amazing! That's such a hard-pounding story! And then <laughs> what did you do, Hajime? Bro, how could you not love this guy? I, I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded. The music- Like, he's just eating this shit up. But it was too late. Nagito's loving all this. I mean, I love it too. I think that's why I love him so much. I arrived. The person wearing the hint bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought. But the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. Yeah. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our site. After I rested for a bit, if I'm wrong about I Mikan, I really don't know who else it could be. And then I noticed maybe Kazuichi, but I sussed him in the last case and he didn't I do it. Sprinted out of the hospital. So I need to stop sussing Kazuichi. He just seems sus. I ran into Fuyuhiko, so I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Various ways? Don't say it like that and confuse people. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared. I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music room. Oh, and also, the reason why I think it's Mikan too is because um, Monokuma inside of the movie theater said that the hemp bags can only go to one person, but it was like a buy one, get one free type of deal. So that means that there was actually two hemp bags. So one was at the scene of the crime, and then I think that Mikan had the other one. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. Yeah. And not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who would? How do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Hey, Nagito, chill, bro. Thought we were besties, huh? Sorry. I'm only being impartial right now. The story I just heard is clearly suspicious. <laughs> My guy's up to no good. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video, 
and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? Man's got a point. Lie? Why would I lie? Man's Obviously. got a point. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth to you. He obviously knows Hajime didn't do it, but he's just trying to play devil's advocate, basically, I think. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. <sighs> it's just as Kazuichi said. Nagito's the kind of guy who will just confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it! I shouldn't have explained it to Nagito. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Nagito would be the perfect Among Us player. He would put so much sus on people that aren't even sus. But we got the bullet, so let's ch ch and let us do... I don't even know. I gotta hear the statements first before I even try to unsus myself. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. Oh shit! My bad. That would also be a lie. Yeah, but it's not. I don't not. think I can deny that possibility. It is not. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Is Why that true? Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? No, the no way. The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably oh. is Hajime's fault. Wait, Hajime didn't even see the movie yet. He didn't even see the movie yet. I'm not the killer. There should be a contradiction somewhere. I need to find that and break through. Hajime's the only one who hasn't seen the movie. Hold on. Um, scrap of thick paper. What's that? Scrap of thick paper. A thick scrap of paper that was stuck to the baton lighting. That's definitely not it. Surveillance camera unit. Surveillance monitor video. Movie invitation key. Bitch! Okay, we got it. So we just got to shoot down Nagito's statement. I'm in the zone right now. I'm in the bone zone. That's what they call it. Look at this. Look at this. Blow! And my headphones came off. <laughs> Bro, that's when you know you gotta get Liddy on my titties. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. When the headphones come off, that's when you know it's a wrap. Of course. Like this case is done. Knew that. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes! No mistakes there! So you're only allowed to watch the movie once? Which means there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. See, what I think Nagito is doing, I think that he's just putting it out in the open that Hajime could have done it, even though he knows he didn't do it, so Hajime can clear himself and take off all suspicion on him right from the get-go. So I think that Nagito is just making a good point here. Or did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? My. Of course no one Stop did, that. right? Nobody talks to Hajime. Hold on a sec. You're the one who brought this up in the first place. Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm-up. I'm getting warmed up. What warm-up? I'm getting nice This and isn't juicy. a game, you know. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. It's not? What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide... ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime. How long would you say you were away from on my dry ass lips? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and good. taped her up within 10 mm. minutes? Lovely. There's no way that's possible. Lovely. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean, a closed room? That's true. The killer blocked the venue door from the inside.
to try and keep us from entering right away. So what I'm thinking is when Hajime stumbled upon Ibuki's body, Hyoko wasn't there yet. Then as soon as he left, the killer was still waiting inside, um, revealed Hyoko's body or tied her up. I think that she was hiding behind the wallpaper. And then the killer just took off the wallpaper where Hyoko was already wrapped around. And then when they were trying to come in, you know how it was closed? I think uh, Mikan, who I'm sussing right now, hid somewhere in there and then just popped out when everybody came in and discovered the bodies. And then she kind of looked not sus because, you know, I guess they weren't paying attention to her when she came in. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. That's what I'm saying, like, she waited until everybody came in and then popped out from somewhere. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna feel so stupid. If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonya and Kazuichi! See what I tell you, we're trying to put sus on Sonya and Kazuichi, I don't think it's them. What the hell? Why's it gotta be us? Especially now that I know how cases play out, and usually the first couple people you sus aren't the killers. The others all that's what I learned alibis. from playing Danganronpa. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Wait, Mikan was outside with them? Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. Wait. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital... Wait a minute. The only person that leaves is one of you. Wait, Mikan was outside when we broke down the door? Oh, shit. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. Wait. You know, Nekomaru. Okay, hold on. I'm confused now. Me too. No, no. This game is just trying to confuse me. I think what I know who it is. Like this game's trying to throw me huh? off. You're kidding, right? You're that doesn't make sense, though. You're not up to something weird, are you? <laughs> Please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to doubt what them. Way but let's try to see what wall. they were doing. Is this his professional skill? The killer was inside the music venue. Fuyuhiko obviously thinks so, but is that really it? Maybe not. Maybe it's not it. So let's see what kind of bullets we got right now. Motel room key, scrap of thick paper, step ladder, semi-transparent glob. Semi-transparent gob. Did I say semi-transparent gob? Oh my god. Okay, let's see what they're the gonna say first. Then I'll choose my bullet. Music god, I keep doing the wrong I'm thing. locking the door from the inside. Yeah. They tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. I think so too. How did they lock the door? Drumstick. That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? But that can't be it though. You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together. I think it might be the glob. And suddenly appeared. So they look like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial Yo, crime dramas. Wh which one do I contradict? Oh, shit! That person's remark contradicts the truth. I should be able to prove that with my evidence. Wait the a minute. Which one is it then? The music is it Fuihiko's statement? By locking the door from the inside. Yeah. They tried to keep us from getting in. Okay, hold on. It seems okay. they were trying to stall for time. Yeah. How did they lock the Nothing door? Nothing to contradict with that. I'm that door so... Should not have had a lock. I am so confused right now. The lock was on the floor in is front it the of glob? The Hold on, is it the sloppy glob? Okay, let me see if this is it. Oh my god! No, that's wow. wrong! So it was the glob. Wow. What the hell? Wait a second. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. Right. From the outside. But then how do they put the drumstick through the door, Henry? Gosh, there's a single transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Right? Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob. Like, rubber, maybe? It wasn't rubber at all. The semi-transparent glob was probably gum, gummy, glue, glue. I see. That semi-transparent glob must have been glue. Glue? Yeah, I think so, too. It had a firm, gel-like chewiness, and I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. I believe it is not something one typically eats. 
That glue is only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, they must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And they couldn't even open it? How strong is that glue? They needed now, the whole crew. They needed the squad, the gang the gang. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? Exactly. That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. Oh, to give the illusion that it's going to be like a strong lock, so that's why they barged in like that. Oh, that's gang say? gang. First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think that I was thinking, like, how could you place version? it from the inside when you're on the outside? Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? That makes a lot of sense. Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap. Well, that's your fault. Apologize to Miss I mean, I fell for it too. And me. However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. Oh, too soon, In a my quarrel, dude. both sides are to blame. <laughs> that's why it's better to just have no sides at all. So, during the 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space. I feel like Hiyoko was already murdered before And that. they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. Girl, the cap on this app! They couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue. They must have done it earlier than that. Earlier? But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, Kyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time. When Hiyoko was actually Me killed earlier. Hiyoko, we're one mind. We share the same brain. I love you. Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right. Just what is this scrap anyway? That scrap that was stuck on the baton lighting in the music venue. Now, I should be able to figure out what it is. Hangman's Gambit. I don't really like this one. Okay, let's do it. What the hell is this long ass word? Hold on, is this it? Please tell me this is it. Oh, W? Wallpaper, wallpaper. Okay, R. As in, are we going to get this show on the road before I die a slow and horrible death? There we go. Thank you very much. Give me that. Scrap. Isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? In the music venue storage room, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, you're right. You overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting tear in the wallpaper. See? It fits perfectly. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part but of like the wallpaper. Like I said, Hyoko was probably under all that wallpaper. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Hyoko's body disappearing? Why, yes it does, Akane. A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. But and if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. That scrap of paper stuck to the baton lighting was part of that wallpaper I found in the storage room. Is it connected to the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body? If I trace it from there, the answer should be clear. Alright, let's give this a try. It is easy. Logic dive. Which one's this one again? Oh, the skateboard shit! Alright, I like this one. I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Whoa, whoa! Catching them non-existent waves, bruh. Look at that. Blah. Oh, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? I'm gonna go into this tight ass thing right here. Question one, here we go. Why did Hyoko's body suddenly appear at the crime scene? It was hidden. Give me some. Hey, do some tricks. Do some kick flips. Do some flip kicks. Where did the killer hide the body? The wallpaper, son. This is easy. I don't need logic dive for this. I already got logic all up in this brain. All up in this big, thick ass pink brain that I got. How did the killer hide the body? They covered the pillar. Yo! If I'm wrong about this, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm not. I'm not, no. <laughs> I'm not, no. Bro, it's oh, too man. easy out here. Man, I gotta get a drink to that. I'll drink to that. Got it. I'm too Yoko's nasty. I haven't done anything wrong yet. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. 
Yeah, you're right. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah, by wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was. I feel like I called that even before the investigation pillar. happened. I can't remember though. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Kyoko's body was already there. That's pretty disturbing. However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. So they used the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Then, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Hyoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music band. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on it. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the killer is very cool. And this it actually doesn't make sense why the killer would do that. Crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then when was Hiyoko actually killed? Before Ibuki. Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? <laughs> the Wizard of Monami 2.5D. Hey, don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission. You tell him, Monami. You tell him. You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs. I don't eat moss balls. I just enjoy looking at them. I don't know who Moss is, but I don't care about you eating his balls. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie. Although, the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason the killer imitated the two victims in that movie, I should be able to explain that now. To hide the weapon because they like movies, to mix up the killing order, yeah? I see! Freaking go! I'm the so glad I recorded this as soon as the investigation so ended. So it up the kill fresh. More. Then, Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'm not even crying. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. Gundam weird. What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? Tell him, Jack. Tell him! An even bigger jerk? Impossible! Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? But it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed. That would mean Hyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the silk's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out I do of like Gundam's fwahahas, though. It is too I do appreciate to a good fwahaha. So Man, I am a annoying. connoisseur of good fwahahas. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. Were they? How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like <gasps> you Oh, know because the blood like on the that? feet. Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. Let her explain, Gundam, goddamn. <laughs> You're one to talk. Anyway, if this continues, we're just gonna talk in circles. I think it's best if we clarify Ibuki's status when Hyoko was killed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if the bullet has something about Ibuki's feet, 
that's gonna be the one that I ch ch blood on the souls. Yep, that's definitely it. Let's lock that in. And let's get to it. Ibuki's feet were on the floor. God, what I keep I am doing? Telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor. How do I slow down time again? There you go. Was there any sign she stepped on something? Yep. Right here. Give me some. Dude. I agree with that. Give me some. I don't want to like bob my head too much because you know my head will like bob again. Just as Sonya said, Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Yeah, it's Yoko's blood. Then it's Yoko's blood. Yoko was killed first. Yoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... How do you know somebody died instantly? It means Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power okay, of the Gundam, evil Okay, I guess eyes. we're gonna go 1v1, huh? I guess you really want the smoke, huh? <laughs> but I do like the Fwahaha's, like a I said. I like the Fwahaha's. Still reeks of Ram, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. It's a good line. But are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction Every time Gundam talks, now, I always have this face like I'm wondering who farted course. in a room. I'm just like... Like, I smell it, I'm like, who? Who did it? Like, I have no idea what he's talking about. Rope used for... Uh, oh, 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 there's so many freaking things! Wait. Oh, God! Smudge on the floor? Okay, that's gotta be it. You're saying that's the relevant to the situation. To to like that up. Oh. Hata, hata, hata! There's no blood on the floor. Oh! Eat him! Well, this shit's too easy! The reason there was sorry, no blood on the floor is because the killer I apologize. Actually, I don't apologize. I love it. Don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, yes. Close. I do. There's now shut your ass up. Where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Like I mentioned though, what is Plus, the point? Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. What is the point of mixing up the murders? Does it even matter? Hyoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. You would know, Aside wouldn't you, killer? Recon, none of us were aware of that fact, so the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue, so it would screw with Mikan's autopsy. Yeah. That's right. I didn't know the time of death because of the heater. The time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file, just to keep concrete evidence for us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object. Right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Uh huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time too? Hey! If the victim actually committed to <coughs> what are we supposed to do? The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! Think about it! A <coughs> means you've killed the most important existence of all! Yourself! Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but... I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. <laughs> Why me? Um, Nagito? What do you mean? If the victim actually committed to <coughs> Well... I mean, I understand Hyoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, the 
It's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko, and then committed <coughs> due to a guilty conscience, right? That's totally impossible! Then she never would have killed her to begin with! She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything. Yeah, but she had the gullible disease. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means yep. the killer had to be alive at that because time. Because they unwrapped the black wallpaper. And she was alive. <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and No, that's impossible because she was hanging. She, she hanged herself. Remember? There's no fucking way she could have. Like, she was that. really hanging. She was hanging, hanging. And so there's no way. Going to fake her death, she was like so far from the think, ground too. She wouldn't have chosen hanging. Yep. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm. I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. What, what the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. What's that, Nagi baby? If Ibuki didn't commit... <coughs> just what was that video Hajime saw? It was a fake! It was a sham! Huh? According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Then does that mean... Someone forced her to do it? F forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? At first I was thinking since Ibuki had the gullible disease that somebody just told her to do that. But now I'm thinking since we saw the on-call room and how it looked like that video that we just saw, I think that it was a staging. It was just like a video. That. Like a fake! Don't say it all proud. Uh, uh, um, putting that aside... Obvious that the killer did something. So maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. I'm down. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sneak recording feature. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually live? Yes. What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Gyoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. Let's do it. Okay, well, since we have the biggest sus on Mikon, we just got to destroy her alibi, right? Oh, look at all these accounts. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep Mikon's account locked in. And let's see what happens. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Yeah. And what about the others? Everybody's right fair before game. The morning announcement. I was totally sleeping in my motel room. Are you? I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. Yeah. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. Okay. That's not an alibi. <laughs> I know, it's basically like the sleeping at the motel alibi. If nobody has an alibi, then... Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed! Huh. The murder supposedly happened before and during the morning announcement. The person who doesn't have an alibi for that time... We can exclude the sick people like me Wait, Kane, right? who doesn't have one during that time? What about the others? Um... Right before the morning announcement. Okay. I was totally sleeping. I guess Fuyuhiko doesn't, right? I think everyone at the Wait, what's Fuyuhiko's account again? Let me see. Fuyuhiko's account. Let's see Mikan's account first. Right up until the morning announcement was made, Mikan was with Hajime the whole time. Afterwards, she went back to the hospital to check on everyone and realized that Ibuki had disappeared. When she rushed out of the hospital to search for Ibuki, she apparently met up with Fuyuhiko. 
Okay, Fuihiko. After Fuihiko met Mikan in front of the hospital, they split up to search for Ibuki. They checked the movie theater and electric ab, but they didn't find anyone. Apparently, Fuihiko and Mikan were only separated for a short time. Okay. Well. So everyone who stayed hmm. at the motel doesn't have an alibi. I don't know. What about you guys? Uh, I haven't gotten anything wrong yet, so I don't know if I want to get something wrong right now. My own cottage. Huh. Not an alibi. Surveillance monitor video. What's that one? Hold on. Surveillance monitor video. Surveillance monitor video. Okay. Uh, that's not it then. So what about Sonya's account? Give me one second. Sonya's account. I want to make sure I don't get this wrong. Kyoko was distraught when her kimono was disheveled and she was unable to tie it on her own. That's when Sonya apparently told her about the full-length mirror in the music venue storage room. Yeah, that's true. But that doesn't mean that was an alibi. That just means something she said. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, okay, hold on. then. Yep, there we go. No, that's wrong. Got it. Ooh, haven't got anything wrong yet. I'm happy about that. Hold I'm on. on a winning streak right Not now. All of us are missing an alibi. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. You, you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video, Mikan and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. Hey. 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 What kind of situation hey. is that? <laughs> you know me? Hey. <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of Pachi. Accidentally, though? Accidentally? Too much info. And yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. Yeah, she said it between her legs. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. I feel like it's stupid and it's taking the sus off the people that need to be sus. But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? Huh? Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. So they can have an alibi? The killer had a different reason? If that's the case. Are we still in the killer's trap? Inside a trap set by one of us. If so, then whose? And what kind of trap is it? Trial suspended? Okay, so we are gonna resume the trial because like I said, still fresh in my mind. I'm not a Shut up! The reason the killer did an imitation murder is a reason other than falsifying the murder sequence. Does something like that even exist? Uh -huh. Suddenly got quiet in here. I was thinking. Did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die from self-loathing. Man, I would die for you, Nagito. This again. I would die for you. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the invitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! But I'm thinking about it again, and he's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the contents of the movie. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? Yeah, but there's no bow and arrows on this island, or is there? But Hyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Maybe. Well, that's probably it, but 
That attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm actually trying to take in what they're saying I'm right saying, now. Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Wasn't what? Kyoko's murder wasn't planned? Um, I oh, understand okay, okay. that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? Maybe Hyoko walked in wrong place, wrong time? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Hyoko go to the music venue? Oh, venue? because, um, Sonia's account. Why did Hyoko go to the music venue? So, you're saying the truth behind Hyoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say. However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark <laughs> I like it whenever he says that, they just pop out. <laughs> I like the chubby one too. Why Hyoko went to the music venue? If that's the key to all this, I need to find that out, no matter the cost. We already know. Because we looked it up earlier when I was looking at the truth bullet. Sonia's account was that she was telling Hyoko about the full length mirror inside the music venue. So where is the account? Sonia's account? Wait, it's not even here! Wait! Hold on! Why did Kyoko... What the hell? Go to the music venue? I'm so sick! It's but not even here! Know that. Oh my god! Maybe the killer summoned her! If that's not it... Maybe she got abducted by the killer! No... No, maybe... She went of her own free will! She did, but how come your account is not there? She was guided by the will of causality. Okay, maybe somebody had um, a thing there. I need to find out why Hyoko went to the music venue first. I know. Why did Hyoko... Wait. There's no... The, um, the Wizard of Monami? Oh, duh. Let me see Motel Room Key. I want to see what that says about that. Motel Room Key. The key to the motel room that Hyoko was staying in, it was buried deep inside her kimono, so it was pretty difficult to retrieve. Okay, that's gotta be it, huh? Motel room key, and then I shoot it at Sonya's statement. Let me try that. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna be so sad because I'm on a streak right now of getting everything right. So let's see, please. Yes, yes. Yes! Let's go! Let's make it go! Woo! It's just as Sonya said. Give me some! The music can you have her own free will. So, exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? I'm so excited right now. I'm so hyped. Locked herself in her room because she was I'm really about that life. Of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Yoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more kimono. obvious. Otherwise, the key was no in the kimono. The scene Stop it, Hajime. Finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that. I won't lose. What? Hey, chill out, Kane. We're on the same team here. Are you saying my gut was wrong? This is my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? You can shine if you want to shine. You're no, the one not letting yourself shine. That's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. Right, let's go then. Come on. I'm not Nekomaru, but I'll still beat that ass with these words. Let's go. Step ladder, candle, smudge on the floor, Mikon's account, Sonya's account. It's got to be Sonya's. Yoko was locked in bam, bam, room, bam, right? bam, 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 bam. Slap, 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 slap. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Jalabi. Oh! So small and weak. Come on, come over here, come over here. Let me and slice that ass! Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we're advancing. Yoko's room was locked. Alright. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? Yes. It's more likely that Hyoko locked the door herself. Uh-huh. The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe it's not Sonya's account? Maybe the killer just put it there later. Wait a minute. Kimono was all messed up. Got it. Oh, that wasn't it? No! Crap. Oh! Try 
remember and he Lame, bro. Lame. Kimono was all messed up. There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer. This? Yes, there you go. So it was Tony's account, but it was for the second contradiction. Oh, I'm pissed off that I didn't get that right the first time. Properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Uh, I was on the right path, but I got it yeah. wrong. It's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Yoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to you me. You nobody trying to do that? Hajime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Kazuichi, put that tongue in your mouth. Ain't none of that's gonna happen. Hell no. Then... The killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting Miss Sonya, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamster six feet under. Let's do something. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop! I kind of want to see people it? cosplaying as Gundam. He looks like he has like the coolest sake? costume on or something. Of course. I've already overlooked no less than 10 opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hiyoko get killed in the music venue? Because she probably saw something that she shouldn't have. The only thing I can think of is, it was an unfortunate coincidence. Coincidence? When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. That's exactly what happened. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? Why didn't she run though? It probably happened. Or tried to run. When the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki, the killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation... Clap those cheeks. Killed Hiyoko. Killer used that coincidence for their crime. It made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? Damn. We don't know the most important part. This chapstick really smells good. The killer's plan from the beginning. I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. Hey, Nagito, any ideas? Yeah, give it to me, Nagi, hey, baby. How long are you gonna stay quiet? Give it to me, Nagito. Oh, am I allowed to speak? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit- <coughs> Yep. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. Exactly. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed- You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Huh. Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh well, about it Well, he wasn't allowed then. to talk, so <laughs> he's just catching up. Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be! No. Wait a minute. If Ibuki had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking around. That's strange. That's very strange. This is strange? Well, what's strange? I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints. There's still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. Just as Nagito said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Then why, 
Why weren't there any footprints on the... On the stage, right? On the music venue stage? Come on. Smudge on the floor. Um, where? On the where? Oh, on the step ladder? Yeah. Step ladder. Give me some of that. I can prove it with this. If Ibuki used the step ladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah. That step ladder was completely clean. No footprints or blood stains at all. You, you notice such a small detail. How amazing. This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate. That means what I do. What are you talking about? You're obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the topic after all this time. Nagito Komaeda. You're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. But didn't you say you saw that video of Kibuki climbing step ladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb. Okay, now I'm convinced that Mikan is the killer because she wouldn't try to do that if she didn't get caught up with I the whole ladder there thing. There was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video. Yep. Mm. But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So, just as I thought, it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that video, and whether or not we can reach that hidden truth is all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. Well, I know the answer. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but oh well. You should get started already. Because we said it in the last episode that the stage where the video took place was inside the hospital on the I'll second floor. Try. If there was some hidden clue in that video, I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. I'm the only one who actually saw that video. So I'm the only one who can do it! Let's get to it! The hanging video that I saw. Based on everything we know from the debates thus far, I should be able to figure out what's strange. <laughs> Spot selection. Select a suspicious spot. What? What does that mean? The curtain? The black curtain in the background, huh? Based on that video alone, I don't really know if the curtain is suspicious or not. Wait, what? Okay. The 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 floor? Okay. I mean the step ladder? That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that step ladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that step ladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a blood stain right on the left side of the step ladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any blood stains on the step ladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Yubuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the step ladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. But the step ladder in the video was completely bloodless. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is. It's possible those two step ladders were completely different. Yeah, because the video's fake. Wait, are you saying there were two step ladders? But where would you find another step ladder? There was only one step ladder in the music venue. Then one of the step ladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the step ladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki. All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills. Is it okay to say that? Uh, what are you two talking about? The stepladder isn't the only thing that's different, huh? Chiaki said that the stepladder was at a different place, but... If that's the case, the thing that's different between that video and the actual scene of the crime... Is that thing, the place where the killer did something. Another hangman? Yep. Okay. Well, let's figure this one out. Two big-ass words? Holy crap! I have no idea! Show me location. BABY! Oh, look at my health! Holy crap! Oh, dude! Oh, suck my tits! That was Besides so... the step ladder, the filming location oh. must have been different, too. Bro. What do you mean? I mean, the video I saw that was, was tough not for filmed me. at the music venue. I don't it know why small brain that. somewhere else. 
Yeah, I mean, I know that, but I didn't know the words were filming location. supposed to display footage captured by the music thingy camera, you know? Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. In order to show us that they filmed the video at the music venue instead of somewhere else. What did the killer do to that surveillance camera unit? They broke it. Logic dive again? Man, I like this logic dive, but you're snowboarding through this shit for way too long. Question one. Which part of the surveillance camera unit did the killer tamper with? Oh my god. I was reading the thing. Dude. Oh god. I was reading the thing. Okay, which part did they tamper with? Uh, both. It's gotta be both. If it's not both, I'm done. Wait, it wasn't both? Wait. Okay, I guess just the camera then. That's weird. Because I thought that they did both. Well, I guess they didn't. Look at that. Yay! It sucks I got it wrong. I was doing so good in this case too. Not getting anything wrong. I'm disappointed in myself. But should I really be though? Should I really be disappointed? I'm pretty much nailing this case. I'm putting the killer right in their coffin. Oh my god! Yo, what the hell? No! I didn't even go off that! I was kind of getting lost in the sauce, because that was pretty cool. Like, that angle was actually pretty dope. That's so lame, dude. Alright, alright, alright. What the- Yo. Hey, I'm, I'm done, dude. Did the killer tamper with the camera at the music venue in the hospital? The hospital. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, what? So stupid. That's the only reason why I'm getting the wrong answer. You know what? I'm just making excuses. I'm being a whiny little bitch right now, too. Oh, uh, give me that. Give me that. Look at that. Oh, uh, stop. Stop. I played SSX Tricky when I was a kid. I know how to snowboard. I know how to get tricky with it. Oh, look at that. I'm sicky icky with it. Sicky icky with it, bitches. Oh. Uh. And one more time, one more time. Oh. Uh. What did the killer do with the camera from the music venue? They took it with them. Yep. They took it with them. Then they smashed it at the music video. Video? The venue. Not the video. But we got it. That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue with it. They made me think it was a live feed from the vineyard, when it was actually from somewhere else. Then, only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes, at least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Hyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start, and made this easier on all of us. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. That's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. The thing the killer did to the remaining monitor was flipped it over, painted it, hit it, destroyed it. I see! The killer smashed the monitor to pieces. I like that painted it. it was a choice. I was actually about to pick that for some reason. I don't know why. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music thing is amazing enough. Which means, even if it was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitting to the hospital, the range would be pretty limited. If that's the case, where was the video filmed to make it look like it was filmed at the music venue? The only possibility is, that place inside that building. Which I already know. Don't say another HANGMAN'S GAMBIT! Okay, well, hospital room? No, that's not it. What was that room called? It was called the on-call room, right? I need an O, 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 and another O. Come on, come on, come on! Where is it? O, M! Damn! I'm really starting to not like Hangman's Gambit. I'm really starting to not like it. It's pissing me off. Cause it's actually messing up my whole flow. It's messing up my feng shui. It was filmed at the hospital's conference room. Huh? Conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. To make the conference room look like the music venue, the killer went ahead and did some work. 
I've got to make that clear what that work was. The curtain, the candle, and I think that's it. Curtain and candle. Motel room key, music venue. Um, hold on. Wait. Music venue curtain. It's gotta be it. So let's lock that in. There's no way let's fire this bitch. And the music venue looks the same. Shut up, killer! Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, I was agreeing with you. Damn it. Okay, let me hear everybody stay. No Fast venue. forward a little bit. Did the conference room look okay. like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Um, shit. Kind of set? God damn it. Might have tampered with the camera. I still can't believe you mixed up the filming location. Okay, well, I gotta agree with Kazuichi or Sonya. Stupid. And I have to fire the music venue curtain. So I know what to do. Fast forward a little bit, and then fire it at Kazuichi's second statement. Right here. Come on. Got it. What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. From what I remember... There used to be a really flashy curtain, but after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, your face looks stupid. Oh, God. That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like a conference room? In actuality, even though Talking the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. When I saw Monami's face on the cover of this game, I knew she was going to be annoying. In the floor of that room is... The same color as the music venue stage. Exactly. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor matched. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like the conference room. It's gotta be that. It's gotta be that. The candle? I can prove it with this. Bro, I'm on one. Holy shit. It's like an out of body right? experience. In the video I saw, I'm really channeling my inner Kyoko right now. I'm the ultimate detective. That's pretty strange. The music thingy has hit light, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but the main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? Nope. That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is the site. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. Correct. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up. So I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far. And the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard Bayside cops say that before, but isn't it the other way around? Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? Somewhere in the hospital. No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. So the person was an actor, duh. 
The video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue. Which means there was a fake somewhere. The fake must have been. The fake is Ibuki in the conference room. I see. The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was an actor. A paid actor! It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. Yes, sir. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was good. only pretending to be the victim. By that time, if I was in this Dog and Rumpa situation, man, they just like turn their heads to me and I'd be like, they did it. The Bam. Bablam. And they would all trust me. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. So that's what happened. Then no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to rescue Ibuki. At that moment, I was already in the killer's trap. And the one who set a trap for me but was... why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. If I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? I've been knowing. I've been new. That's right. I should already know. I should have already known who the killer is. I know who it is. Get your ass over here. You're the only one. You're the killer, aren't you? Ha <laughs> Let's get it, boy. And my girls. Can't forget about my girls. Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoka? Yeah, what is hey, this? You tell us. Don't you think that's kind of impossible? A chick like her as the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her first. Ha! Ah. She, she, she's right! A, a fancy slow go by me killing someone? That's completely out of the question! But we're the only ones. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up earlier. Only Hajime and me can't have an alibi. It's just a coincidence! But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Then, if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. At that time, you said you were going to the on-call room, but you actually went to the conference room. Hey, what the heck? That's Come on, you, on you don't gotta see those pale killer ass cheeks. Advance, put the bag on your head and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music room. You showed that to me. <laughs> you got a point. Furthermore, My I man's saw that got a point. at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Kane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. So that must mean... Please wait a second! What are you saying? I think I'm That's exactly what we're saying! Shut up, killer! It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? Just shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? R wrong! I it's totally wrong! It's not what you think! Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikon is the killer? I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. Is she gonna pull a tarot tarot and be somebody that completely slow different? slow-witted remark is not necessary. <laughs> it's fine. I've been like this for a long time. In a tournament for social punching bags, I'd easily win first place with my soft reputation. <laughs> Even I can't deny that. But why, though? Very serious! What do you say, Hajime? 
Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Do you hate me that much, Hajime? Hey, Hajime! Uh, um, everyone's ganging up on me. <laughs> Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Could it be I'm the one making a mistake? No, in fact, it'd be so much easier if I was wrong. If I had this much doubt about someone I've spent so much time with. Uh, can you hold on a minute? Huh? Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all. And I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. Huh? I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else's trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it. Right. You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. Actually, this is a game. He's right. Please don't say such controversial statements. Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Dang, that's a huge deal. Then let him speak. Did you just say Stop chiming in. Let the man speak. Like you really exist? Let's take a look. Shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed, as if it was rubbed stronger. But why is it like this? The loopy Buki used to hang herself is on one end of the rope, and the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means, well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. Mm. The killer wrapped the rope around Buki's neck. Pulled both ends at full strength and strangled it. Okay, I never thought of it like that. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they use to strangle Ibuki. That's cold. That is cold. God, I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Not everyone cooperates in a class crime. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Huh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then, and then, I finished speaking. Huh? How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue. Very clear. Nagito's words contain a decisive clue? Is that really true? I don't know. I think it is. I mean, we didn't know about that until he just said it, so I'm kind of confused too. Let's see. Rope used for hanging. Oh, shit. I don't know. Okay, let's just lock this in. Let's see what didn't happened. Die from hanging. She was strangled to death. Yeah. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Mm -hmm. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? Yeah. The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. 
It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever That's true. Is to blame. That's true. Ibuki's true cause of death was strangulation. That fact is the decisive proof that will lead to the killer. Is that true? Ibuki didn't die for wait. hanging. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see something. Mikan's account? No, that's not right. AC temperature? It was extremely hot inside the music venue. That doesn't mean anything. The rope was used for hanging. According to Mikan, there is no doubt that the cause of Ibuki's death was her hanging herself with this rope. Oh, okay. Because Mikan said that she died from hanging. Alright, well, we got it. They're very different. So let the us shoot it at the right thing. Too. Yeah. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Uh huh, because that's what Mikan said. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? Yeah. That got it. must be it. Got it. Freaking got it. That's why I need to look at the description of the evidence. Because it tells things like that. So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. You said Ibuki hanged herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? Mm, that is... well... Well, you know. You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? Hold on, guys, hold on. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I had got itchy should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling all right, just all by right. looking. You, Mikan, the ultimate nurse. Please, wait! But first of all, I'm not a coroner, so I don't have the medical knowledge to identify injuries like that. Now you don't, but you were perfectly fine doing the first two autopsy in the first two cases. That's why it's not my fault if I made a mistake. That's what they all say. You, you were right. And you have been a great help to us so far. Shut up, Sonia. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I'm can not they? taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally right. <laughs> I'm such a clumsy mess, and I got so careless. Mikan nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? I'm not a criminal. Mikan is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. She is? You got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. Me too, Nagito. Up top. Up top, high five me. Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikan is the killer. Oh, we did. <sighs> we been new. Hmm, I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I, I hate can that do they is don't listen off, to him. It actually pisses me off a lot. But is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer! <laughs> There's no way! <laughs> I'm capable she keeps of saying that. Someone. That's the only thing she's saying. Is that really true? <gasps> stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop. I don't want to do this either. Of course I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. You, you doubt your friends? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. What the hell does that mean? Um... I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? I do doubt her. But I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. That's true. Cause... If there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe. Is there? Uh-huh. Don't say deep stuff. I... Don't really get it. If you want to believe in someone, 
You need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Huh? Is that all you can say? Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? So she's finally revealing her true self? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. Nobody made you kill anybody, Mikon. I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. All right, you are going to be done once you get executed. Hey. Mika. It's not fair. It's not fair. Not fair. fair not, not fair. fair. Not, not fair. fair. Not, not fair. fair. Not, not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Why won't you forgive me? You forgive yourself right away. What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Because you're the killer. Like Shit. This is your strategy now. This is annoying. Plus, to be honest, we've run out of ideas. How can we get you to a point? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? Huh? I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. But still, the truth is one of us murdered two of our friends. That's why. We gotta stick with this until the very end. So we can finally break these chains of despair. Chucky? Hey, Mikan. You one last thing. If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't. Me. That doesn't answer her question, though. Can you prove it? Prove it? Wait. Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? Ah, that's right. Show me your proof. Assuming the video was filmed at the conference room, treating me like a killer based on an assumption. Just because I was at the hospital. Yeah. That's totally crazy. I didn't do anything wrong. Why does everybody always hate me? She's not even proving that she wasn't the one in the video. She just keeps saying that she didn't do it. Anybody can make that excuse. Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable. Started arguing for us. Huh? But the only one who can find the hole in her argument is you, Hajime. So I'm going to leave this to you once again. Could it be? Was this Chiaki's goal all along? She's saying everyone's fate depends on me, the only person who saw that video. Why did you get to decide I'm the killer? Where's your proof? Please forgive me already! No! I need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's going to finish this. I thought we decided that from the get-go that you're the only one who knew what happened. Come on, Hajime. Stop playing with me, dude. Robies for Hain, Motel Room Key, um, Mikan's accounts. Let me check Mikan's account again. Just one time for the one time so I can make sure I got everything right. Mikan's accounts. Right up until the Monokuma announcement that morning, Mikan was with Hajime the whole time. Afterwards, she went to the hospital to check on everyone and realized that Ibuki had disappeared. When she rushed out of the hospital to search for Ibuki, she apparently met up with Fuyihiko. Okay, so let's lock that in. Yeah, we know you're not we the killer. We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Uh-huh. Huh? Do you have any proof? Why does she sound different? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? The hell, Mikan? Why do you sound like that? Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Wait, is it Mikan's account? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! Me already! 
Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. I'm You're so the confused. only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Shit. Don't flinch. Don't hesitate. Don't run away. I'm the only one who saw that video. Who else is going to do it if I don't? You know what? I think I know what it is now. Let me see if this is right. Maybe I do have to do the slippers, but I have to take Chiaki's account. I think. This one's actually really tough, though. Pay close attention and listen well. Right here, I think I gotta take this. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Okay, killer's mistake. But then that doesn't mean that it was Mekon, though. Shit. I'm not the killer! Crap. You can't know. think of anybody else other who could have filmed I actually don't it. think it's the shoes. But I'm just gonna try it. Just to ease my mind. Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers? Please? Nope. Okay. Damn it. I'm so confused. You could tell her body type under the hospital Shut gown. Up. Just from that video? No. Just from that camera angle? Yes! Yes! I'll she got that contradiction. Goodness! What is she so stupid? Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. M mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. Yep, nobody else did. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you <laughs> anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? Uh, yeah! Saw the video or starred in the video? The only reason Mikan knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Oh, are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? <laughs> Bro, I'm too good. We called that uh, so early. Huh? 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 <laughs> I was wrong. Wrong. No, no. That's not it at all. That's not it? I mean, it's impossible. Impossible? You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? No, I don't. Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated, and I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Not with that attitude. Is this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! Long time no see. Well, not really. It's time for the third panic talk action. This is probably gonna be my last job during the trial. Please humor me while I taint your ears one last time. Starting from this PTA, the reload and ammo features will be added. All right, let's get to it. Okay, zero stock. Reload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get back to it. Yeah, yeah. Zero stock, man. I need to stop running out of bullets. I got to get my shit together. Got it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Focus, 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 focus. Oh, 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 shit, shit. Oh, oh. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Negative. Give me negative. What does that mean? Bro, stop. What the heck? I'm doing this right, right? Bro, I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? Shit. Bro, this is bad. 
This is real bad. I don't like where this is going. Okay, two, three, four, five. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Uh, 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 uh. Yee, yee. Okay, thank you. Um, bonus prize theater. I failed? Son of a bitch. There's okay, here we go. Now. Theater bonus prize. This is the end. Good lord. I can't believe I did that ass backwards. I'm so dumb. Monokuma mentioned this early. When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Buy one, get one free, bitch. Means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. Why? Why can't you forgive me? Why? Because you killed two people. It seems your desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Okay, I'm it's sorry. It's Psych. already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, you must just done. admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Okay, well, closing argument time, aka my favorite time, aka the best time. Let's go. We're not gonna get any wrong. No edit J's in the building. So, that's already been used right there. This video is broadcasting the hanging. Okay, so wait, uh, so put that there. Let's go, Adam. And then put in wait 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 wait. Hold on. Threw off the handbag. No, Monami's tote bag. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, is it this? Yeah. Okay. The killer ripped off the music venue's wallpaper. So I think that we're gonna do a little bit of that. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Sorry. Breaking the drumstick in half. Okay, it's uh, this one, this one, this one. There we go. Okay, last stock. What do you mean last stock? What the hell? Okay, well, the surveillance camera unit is right there. Rip the piece of baton lighting. Like that? Okay. And then, um, hold on. Smashing that, just like they smashed the homies. Put in glue on the door like that. Okay, and then this actually doesn't have a lot. This actually doesn't have a lot at all. Kyoko was taped to the pillar. Two step letters are different somehow. Okay, maybe it is. Oh wait, there's only one more spot? My bad, everybody. Hold on, let me see. Is it right here? Nope. Okay, that's not it. It's gotta be this thing then. That was Here's it. That wow. In this case. That was easy. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. This case is actually really easy. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video. So I immediately headed over there. That was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time, when in fact, the crime had already been committed by them. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. So Mikan would have had to go in there after Hajime left this music venue and then put glue on the door after he left. So I went to the music venue and found the hanged body wearing a bag on his head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. Yeah, so the killer was hanging but around. That was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer... Well, I'm not saying the killer, I meant Mikan. ...from outside and 
As if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music video and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Kyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. Yeah, because I was thinking before, actuality, how would a drumstick even fit on those door handles? Room is because of the glue. That doesn't even make any the sense. The sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. Because there was no hole in the handles where you could put the drumstick through. You had to put it on top. And met up with Fuyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. And they made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Man, we figured that out. From the very beginning, I gotta give myself a pat on the back, yo. That was dope. <laughs> Yeah, I'd laugh too. If I was this dope. Whoa! N now she's laughing? Maybe she loves to kill. The thrill of the kill. It's killing. been such a long time. This feeling. I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing. Like the sky is falling down upon you. This feeling of despair! M Mikon, you... What has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time! So we just finished it. I'm pretty sure we aced that, right? Wait, number 3, 86 points. Number 9, 77. Number 10, 43. Number 11, 41. Oh, dude. Don't gotta expose me like that. I knew who the killer was from the get-go and I still gotta be. That's pretty sad. It seems your arguments have reached the conclusion. That's pretty damn so sad. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go! You know what I realized playing this game? They haven't really figured out a way to escape. In the first Danganronpa, they were always looking for how they were going to get out of the school. In this one, I feel like they're just going through the motions of living on the island. So, I don't even know how they're going to escape. I thought that they would be able to escape from the plane, but I don't know. Maybe they can't. Now then, though it may be obvious at this point, Correct! You got it right once again! That's like three in a row! That's right, the true identity of the horrifying black and who killed the two girls was Mikan Sumiki! Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan, the one who nursed us back to health, was the one who killed them? I won't forget Don't joke you. around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> hey! Don't just laugh, say something! This is going nowhere! <laughs> What's going on? This chick! Hey, hey! This is nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental! That's There's obvious. nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Huh? Hey. Based on my predictions, she might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. What? Mikan too, you say? I... I know because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was... <sighs> Full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Hold on, did you say Mikan also had the despair disease? 
Then that means she was... What? Huh? Hajime, has something crossed your mind? My body's heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. That's right. Mikan felt really hot at that time. Now that I think about it, that must have been... A high fever, just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot be! Then, because of that disease, Mikan was... Perhaps... The symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name Despair Disease. Losing all hope, and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? Well, that sucks then. That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> so she didn't really do it from her own mind? She was under the despair disease, and that's why she died? Jeez. That sucks. Which means the Mekon standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair? <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. I... That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope. Possible. There's no way I can forgive that. Oh? For the sake of despair? <sighs> uh, that's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong? Wrong? What's wrong? What I did... What I did... Was, was for the sake of my beloved. Okay. Huh? 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 Who are you talking about? <laughs> if they only were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one who never hated me. They forgave my existence. I don't hate you. They forgave I really me hate you. They gave me value. Great value. They loved me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. What are you this talking about, baby? My reciprocation. Who is she talking about? <laughs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable, but you know, to transcend all that is truly love. what love is all about. Hey, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? <sighs> what a pity. I feel sorry for you. Well, Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but love is a wonderful thing. <sighs> oh, this feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. <laughs> My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil, and I'm just looking out through it. That's why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me, <sighs> it's like nothing matters. Amazing. I could just die, that's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love! Only love! Could it be? Nagito, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is... It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair. <sighs> you were half right. It's right to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Apparently, that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease. But... But if this means she remembered something and ended up like this... Are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to this island? <laughs> Don't get so angry! Well, first of all... The reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know. Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? <laughs> Even so, the current me was the most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence. And it was also my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. That is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with like me. I said, who the hell are you talking about? <laughs> are you saying this is Mikan? She's the real Mikan? Mikan, please answer me. Did you really remember? You ended up like this, all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that! There's no way the person you are right now is the real Mikon! <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then, to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice! <laughs> it's about that World Ender organization that you all were worrying about! Are you serious? You know? <laughs> Not no, I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along, how that horrifying organization known as World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Future Foundation? Future. That's right, the symbol on the ancient ruins door. 
That's right. It was the Japanese word for future. Hey, just what is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? As the name suggests, that organization is the world ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know? <laughs> As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monami? Huh? huh? I knew it! Monami, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Monami and I aren't members. I am Monokuma. My existence is entirely my own. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. Hey, Mikon, if you really do remember, then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. <laughs> of course I know that. Let's see, the future foundation lackey that's hiding among you all is... Oh, oh well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not! Oh, hell no! <laughs> You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be so impatient. Probably when that countdown ends. Countdown? You even know about that? Oh? I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love. From the bottom of my heart, I just don't care about anyone or anything. That is... Econ, is this really you? I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe you were like this all along. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up until now? <laughs> the past? Past. That person, she doesn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> you guys consider that thing a friend. Oh? <sighs> that doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self, because you're a murderer! Well, that applies to you all as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are. Do you understand? Like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us shadows of the past, don't you think? Hey, I don't know what you're trying to say, but... In the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about our stolen school lives. Hey, hey! So, it was true all along, our memories were taken away! Damn it! If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering this much! <sighs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh, Monokuma! Isn't it right for you to start now? Yes, indeed! Punishment time? Damn it. Why? Mikon, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much! Now then, now I then, prepared a I... very special punishment! Oh, okay, see? So you're not gonna finish it? I hate that the game has dialogue where it talks sometimes and then doesn't finish it. So it's over. It's really... Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. Who's that? I can finally see them. Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. Let's see if this one's any good. Ugh. Mikan has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Bye bye, ouchies. <laughs> okay. Whoa. What the heck? Whoa, what was she riding? She was like riding a leg, like a dog humping a leg. Okay, she's blasting off again, Team Rocket style. See, booty hanging in the wind. Alright, alright, alright. Blasting off into space. No. That was it? You're gonna make me figure out who the killer was right from the very beginning just to get that dog shit execution? Do better, Monokuma! Do better! It's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuki, Miyota, and Hyoko Sayonji was Mikan Sumiki. You know what? I could have thought of a better execution. 
like do a surgery gone wrong or something or like hook up the IV things but have so many chemicals that are make her head explode. I don't know. Anything but that! And she's been executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mekon from earlier? Was that her true form, or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? Damn it. It doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that just from remembering, then all along, Mekon was never worth being a symbol of hope. But... Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, if she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's all take this despair and change it into hope. Please wait! That's impossible. Uh, I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so... Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice toward us. And now, there's no way we can just move on or try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it! It would have been so much easier if she was the traitor, too! Wrong! Too bad, that's not the case. Mekon was not the traitor. Come on! The traitor is still alive. As proof, see how fine Monami looks right now. <laughs> I'm not fine at all. Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the Future Foundation, so you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What does that make you, fiend? You did say that you're different than Monami. Phew. Who cares about who I am? More importantly, I'm tired. The drama just keeps going and going. I didn't even have time to eat my black bean right eye during the break. Hey. Your right eye is made out of black beans? Hey, hey. Now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey! Um... You know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups, but if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? Yeah. So, in order to help you guys feel better, I prepared a special event. Special event? <laughs> Head over to the First Island's beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Huh? Could it be Nekomaru? Hey. Is it? It is, isn't it? Nekomaru was safe after all? Hmm. Um, safe? How should I say this? Hmm. <laughs> I knew it! I knew that crazy bastard Nekomaru would come back to us in one piece! <laughs> awesome! We're starting to see the light of hope! Um... The light of hope? Um, I am happy Nekomaru is returning to us, but... But I... So just as I thought... of our friends just died, so I honestly cannot be happy. Hmm... Miss Sonia! However... However... <sighs> even so, I am still happy. If Nekomaru is safe, I am truly happy. Fine. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those two who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Shit. That line doesn't suit you at all. Silence. Silence. I shall crush you into dust. Um. Ibuki, Hiyoko, Mikan, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nekomaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonya. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's all go greet Nekomaru. Let's make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> oh, goddamn ugly shits. Huh? What the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? I don't get this at all. Oh, wait, she sobbed. <laughs> Akane. All right. Alrighty then, let's go! Yeah, you're right. Nekomaru's coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Well, I am going to end this before anything else happens. So that was the end of the class three trial. I nailed it from the get go. I nailed it during the investigation. We're not gonna proceed any further. 50,000 likes and we are gonna get into the next episode. If you guys are excited to see that, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.